Welcome to T-Boys TV. We are back again with another T-Boy Discusses. Obviously, a lot of news come out today at Luton. This is my second time doing this video. Um, I've done a video earlier outside with my microphone and then turns out there was no sound. Um, I've looked at everything into it, how to maybe sort it out, but now nah, it just doesn't want to work. And yes, I've got a spot here. Um, well, not actually a spot. It's a cut. Um, because I was shaving and cut myself, which is just great, isn't it? So, yeah. <laughs> but obviously today, four topics that we're going to get into. Um, so let's get into them. So the first thing, we have signed Ryan Giles. Now, obviously, I've done the video the other day. It was potentially going to be announced. It's going to be announced at some point. It's finally been announced today, as well as the new away kit, which we'll get into as well. But yeah, our sixth signing of the summer uh, is obviously Ryan Giles. Um, and then obviously, like I said, he got 11 assists uh, last season for Middlesbrough, uh, which was obviously a lot. Obviously got them into the playoffs, uh, as we know. And someone, Rob Edwards, our manager, of course, gave his senior debut to Ryan Giles. Um, so yeah, a bit on it. Uh, what he has to say, he says, I've reached a point that at my age, I've had a lot of loans and I feel those experiences have made me the player and person I am today. <clears throat> now, this is a different direction, a new beginning, a new chapter, said Giles in his first interview as a Luton player. I'm grateful to Rob for giving me my first taste sorry, of men's football and now the chance uh, to work with him again, especially in the Premier League. It is a fantastic opportunity I thrive off creating chances and I can't wait to get to know my teammates and get the fans off their seats. I'm really excited to uh, excited, sorry, and want to hit the ground running. Lovely picture of him and Rob Edwards. This is what Rob Edwards has to say on it. He's a really exciting signing for us. I've known Ryan for a long period of time. I gave him his taste of uh, senior football uh, back at AFC Telford when he was a young kid on loan from Wolves. He's had a few loans and he's got <clears throat> lots of experience now um, circulating in last season where he was one of the most outstanding wide players in the championship. He's got electric pace and I don't think I've ever seen anyone who can cross a ball on the run with the quality he can while at full speed. He's going to help us in those moments where we need to transition quickly and he also possesses outstanding set-piece quality. He goes into the mix with Issa and Alfie for those wing-back positions which is a really exciting area for us. He's shown he's a very, very good championship player who is now hungry to show what he can do in the Premier League. So, <clears throat> obviously, like it says there, obviously, Rob Edwards uh, gave him that opportunity at Telford. Obviously, they're both born in Telford as well. Um, and, yeah, you know, what I have seen of him, very good player. Obviously, like I said, 11 assists last season, um, obviously, at Pom. Who nearly touched on 30 goals, obviously, you know, he set Aquam up a lot. And, you know, Wolves are gutted that they've got rid of him. Um, Middlesbrough are gutted that they're not getting him again, um, which, you know, fair enough. But I've seen some of their fans just, they're just silly, mate. Some of them, what I've seen, you know, the comments, we're in the Premier League. You know, you don't care about the area. Premier League is the best league and that's where he wants to play. You know, it's just one of them. Um, but obviously, Rob Edwards also says he goes into the mix with Issa, uh, obviously, Kabore, who we've also signed, and then obviously, Alfie Doherty. So we already know where he's going to be playing um, as a wing back, <clears throat> uh, which obviously I expected anyway. And it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting to see what he can do. And I think based on this signing, Especially if him, you know, Wolves gutted, you know, they're not having, having him anymore. Obviously, he has, you know, been with them for a long time. Obviously, they've been in the Premier League for quite a while. I think I would start him against Brighton um, straight away. You know, sometimes with players, when they come in, you want to, you know, not put them in straight away so they can see how the team plays, etc. But I think with him, I'd, I'd put him straight in um, against Brighton, to be honest with you. And I think I know what my whole defensive line would be, except goalkeeper. So we need to get one. And we quite don't quite have one that's good enough for the standard, in my, in my opinion, at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's a very good signing. 
um, and I'm very happy about it. Let me know what you guys think about this signing. And then moving on to the next thing, obviously it was announced at the same time, the away kit, um, which I'll get up on screen now. So obviously it looks similar to the home kit in the sense of the, the actual design. I thought it would. I thought it would be uh, blue and then have a white line. That's what I thought, but it's a really nice kit. Again, similar to the home kit where it's appealed to me straight away. And yeah, I'll definitely be asking for one. <laughs> Same as the home one. Um, simple as that but let me know what you guys think of it um as well and then moving on to the next top topic obviously there's been an outgoing uh today and that is obviously fred uh has gone to rotherham united on a season-long loan now there was rumors a couple of days ago that he's maybe going to go permanently um but he's gone in the end on a loan uh for the season and you could say in a way it's a swap um, for Chio, who obviously we've signed from Rotherham. Um, obviously, you know, he was playing <clears throat> out wide. Uh, obviously, Fred, when he when he was playing for us, was playing as a wing-back. Sometimes he'd come on up front, but mainly a wing-back, uh, especially on that right. And yeah, I think he's a good signing for Rotherham. I think he'll do well there. And I feel it's needed, because also now, with Giles coming in, it was always going to be difficult for Fred to, to play for me. Um, because, you know, as wing-backs, we've already got loads of players that can play there. See, with Giles now, Giles, Clark, uh, Bell, um, you know, so what's that, three, uh, Giles, Bell's, uh, Clark can play there, Doherty, you know, there, there's already a lot of players there. Um, so it's interesting, it's interesting, but I think he'll do well there. Uh, let me know what you guys think on that loan. And if you are a Rotherham fan, it'll do well for you guys. Um, and I've seen a lot of your fans are happy about this anyway, which they should be. They should be. But, yeah. And then the last thing I wanted to talk about briefly is the friendly tomorrow. Uh, obviously, we're taking on Sheffield Wednesday away. Big good test for us. Obviously, we're taking on another side uh, that got promoted from League One. And... It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting, like I say. Uh, it will be streamed, so I will be watching it. I won't be doing a watch along or anything, but I will be watching it. Maybe in the next couple of days, if more news comes out, we'll briefly touch on this game as well. Uh, but it's only a friendly, so I'm not going to go too much into it. But, <clears throat> yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. It is Sheffield Wednesday's last friendly. Um, you know, obviously, because the championship starts next week uh, and it'll be an interesting game. Obviously, they've got Southampton uh, at home, which will be a good game that I'll be watching. Um, so, yeah, that that's that. Obviously, when it comes to pre-season, how have we both done? Obviously, we're unbeaten. Um, obviously, we beat Peterborough at England's ground, which was weird to see uh, where we was playing. Uh, apparently, even though Luton didn't announce anything, when we was out in Slovenia, we drew two all. Um, and then obviously we drew with Ipswich uh, the other day. As for Sheffield Wednesday, they've lost their last two uh, pre-season games. So for us, really, as much as it is a you know pre-season game, we want to try and keep the unbeaten run going. Um, you know, but like I say, it is going to be a tough game, especially at their ground. Um, but yeah, score prediction, throw it out there. I got one-one, same as it was the other day against Ipswich. Um, so yeah, let me know what you guys think about that game. Um, yeah, that is where I'm going to wrap it up. Um, so yeah, big up to everyone that watches this. Big up to a lot of people that have watched them recently. Uh, we've been touching on a lot of views, uh, even on the extra channel that's been flying when I've been, been putting out clips, um, of these videos. So big up to yourselves and, uh, yeah, smash a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Turn on notification bell so you never miss an upload or a scheduled stream. Do that for the extra channel as well, please. Link to that is in the description. And uh, yeah, try and get the Twitch up and running. Follow me on there if you haven't already. I've recently put uh, links on recent videos or the link to it in there. So check it out there as well. And yeah, if you want to follow me across any of my socials as well. TikTok, we're already on 500 followers. We're not really at it for that long. So big up to yourselves there. Follow me on there if you're not already. And uh, yeah, until next time, I will see you lot in a bit.
So take care and peace. Oh, 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 oh